Mighty Marvel Show. I'm Paul, and as we get near the end of 2021, I'm already thinking, what Marvel Legends would I love in 2022? So this is my 2022 Marvel Legends wish list now. There's a video on this channel floating around the screen somewhere now that I did it last year about my 2021 wish list. I had 10 figures on there that I really wanted to see. I got three out of the 10, which is not too bad. I wish it was more, but it doesn't matter. We've had a great year of Marvel Legends. So I got three out of the 10 last year. Watch that video. You can see which ones they were. So I've narrowed it down to five for 2022. I'm not greedy. Don't want to be greedy. Five is fine. If I get five, that'd be great. So these are my five. But what I've done is I've broken it down. I've got five standard figures on my wish list. Then I've got one deluxe figure, which we've seen some great ones in 2020. What are we now? 2021. We've seen some great ones in 2021 already. We've seen the Thanos Deluxe version. We've seen the Vulture Deluxe version. So there's some really cool ones. The Red Hulk. We've seen some great ones out there. So I've got one Deluxe figure, five standard figures, and one collector set. For example, we've got a cool two-piece of Rescue and Captain Marvel here from the Infinity Saga. And then you've got a cool Triple X pack here of the Family Maximoff with Magneto. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. So one collector pack. So that's my criteria. Let's get started. Selection number one is the Immortal Hulk. Now the Immortal Hulk from the comic books. Yes, I'm a comic book nerd. That's what I love. The Immortal Hulk, 50 issues. Al Ewing has just finished that amazing comic book one. And there's a really distinctive look. Joe Bennett's art on the Immortal Hulk. That's what I like. I know we've had a lot of Hulks over the time. We've not had an Immortal Hulk, though. So that is what I would love. A good old Immortal Hulk. One with the chatting face and two with the angry fighting face. Couple of fists, couple of grabbing hands. That would be great. Immortal Hulk, please, for 2022. Okay. Next on my list is a character that we've had a movie version of a live action version this year that I would love to get from the comic book versions. And it is Icarus, member of the Eternals, played by Richard Madden in the movie. And the comic book costume is great. It's a straight up Jack Kirby. There's been a bit of evolution over the last few years in recent years, but it pretty much stuck to the principle, this vibrant blue with the red and the gold pieces on it. That would be cool. Obviously got the blonde barnet. I would love that figure so I can get it into a smash down with Hercules and Thor and any number of big bruiser characters. So that would be great. I would love a comic book version of Icarus. Please, Marvel. Okay, third on my list. It's a spider character. I've got to have a spider character, obviously. But I would love a Jessica Drew Spider-Woman. It's time to update that figure. It's been a while since we've had one. This is the classic red costume with the yellow sort of curly diamond shape on the front of it. It's a real, real cult classic costume. Back in the comic books now with Carla Pacheco. Great figure, great character, great look to that costume. Would love to get an updated Marvel Legend version. That, especially now we've got pinless joints for the female characters as we have with Tiger this year. So that would be great. That is number three on my list. And sticking with spider characters, my number four, Miles Morales. What's that? We just had a Miles Morales. I know we just had a Miles Morales. That's the PlayStation game version, which is an awesome figure and an awesome costume. But in the comics, lately, the recent run, Saladin Ahmed has updated Miles' costume. It's a real cool, funky, it's a cosplayer's dream. It's a hoodie with a snood. It's got trainers. It's really casual cosplay, but it's a great looking costume. It really suits that urban street fighting Miles Morales character. So I love that. That would be great. I think that would be perfect to get a figure in 2022. So that is number five. And... Spider theme again. No, I don't want to make this one about Spider-Man, but it's about time we had a villain. And I would love to complete almost my whole set of the Spider-Man Rose Gallery, Craven the Hunter. I think we are due an updated Craven Hunter. It's incredibly rare to get all of the one out there. If you've got a million pounds, you can probably get one. But that is a great figure. I love that character. Some of the best Spider-Man comic book runs we've had over the years. So that would be fantastic. That would be great to have an updated version of that. And we've just had the black costume symbiote Spider-Man on the way this year. So wouldn't it be great to get a Craven Hunter? I think I'd probably prefer a 
a comic book version of Marvel and the Spider-Man animated series. I mean, we will probably get that if we're going to get anything because we seem to be going through a renewal of all these the the retro Spider-Man animated series. So it'd be fine. I'm not really picky. Don't have any questions about it. But I would love to just get a straight out comic book version, the classic look, rather than the the um, animated series version. But I'm not fussy. Either would be great. Come on, Hasbro, that'd be great. That's my five. They are my top five. Immortal Hulk, Icarus, Spider-Woman, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Kraven the Hunter. Now, on to my deluxe figure. This is one that was on my wish list for last year that we didn't get. This is one that every single Marvel live action feature, everyone says, this character's coming, that's him in the background, I'm sure it's now, and we haven't had it yet. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get an MCU version of this character soon. But I would love, 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 love a deluxe figure of Mephisto, the Lord Demon himself. Mephisto, he would come with fire breathing, he would come with magic hands, he would come with a throne maybe as part of that deluxe set. That would be great. That's the type of figure, figure, not figure, that's the type of figure I think would be perfect for a deluxe version, like we saw with Thanos last year, like we've seen with the Vulture, with the wings, etc. A bigger set, a one-off piece. It's obviously a little bit more expensive in terms of the price, but you get what you're paying for in terms of that quality and accessories that come with it. And Mephisto would be great. That would be my top wish list for a deluxe figure for 2022. And then finally, a collector set. Now, these are not always cheap. We've had a few this year. We've had the Wolverine pack. We've had the Hellfire Club. They're not always cheap. I know that. But as a one-off piece, I've put these four together because they're a great set of villains and they're almost intertwined with each other. I would love to get a Wrecking Crew set. So you've got the Wrecker, Thunderball, Bulldozer, Piledriver. I have got the original Thunderball. I've got the original, I've got an Absorbing Man and I've got original Piledriver. They're great. I would love to, I mean, do you know what? Throw the Absorbing Man in as a five. There you go, there's a whole five there. The Wrecking Crew and the Absorbing Man. But I'm not fussed, I'll take either. Great villains, real sort of Masters of Evil type studios, great smackdowns with the bat, you know, with your Hulks, your Captain Americas, your Thors, throw them in with my Icarus, etc. All those ones we talked about. Iron Man, great to have those sort of showdowns, have those four characters. I think that'd be a fantastic set. We are due another wrecking crew. They are out there. They're super rare to try and get hold of if you if you get the chance. And there's not many in circulation if you look on some of the second hand sites, eBay, etc. But I think we're due a Wrecking Crew update. That would be amazing. And we always love to build a roster of bad guys as well. So that, that's my Marvel wish list for 2022. It's only mine. It's only what I think. At me though, tell me what you think. Put yours in the comments below. What's your wish list for 2022? How did you get on with a 2021 wish list? Let me know. Stick it in the comments. And while you're there, like, subscribe, do everything else. Thanks very much. And I will see you on another video.